this recording, we'll take a quick look at initial configuration of uh, hardware independent imaging in Avanti. As an Avanti deployment engineer, I'm asked all the time um, and I have to spend quite a lot of time on HII, uh, hardware independent imaging. Um, the initial configuration is fairly straightforward. Uh, moving forward with it, uh, you can do a bit more advanced um, configuration with it and set up. Um, you can assign manual drivers, but typically it's designed to be automated. Um, in order to get started with it, if you copy your drivers files into the default location, which is uh, Program Files, Land Disk, Management Suite, LD Main, Land Disk, Files, Drivers, you simply need to copy the folder for your drivers in there. Um, one question I get a lot is no, you do not need to have the driver set for each and every model. HII works by reading the hardware ID and then trying to match up against what is in your HII repository. Um, so, you know, Lenovo, HP, Dell, they may all use the same NIC, which might be an Intel NIC or a Broadcom. Um, if, as long as you have the Intel or Broadcom NIC driver in there, it should pick it up the closest driver with the correct ID. Once you've copied your drivers in there, you'll notice two files, a drivers.db3 and a drivers.dbk. When we build the HII library, uh, drivers.db3 becomes the main database that contains the configuration and a list of all your drivers. Drivers.dbk is simply a backup of the drivers.db3 and gets created every time that you click build library. And it's just, as you obviously understand, for backup purposes. Next step, go into your Ivanti management console and then navigate to provisioning and then HII driver management. In here, you simply click build library, verify the correct path. If you need to move the path to, let's say, a data volume or somewhere else, uh, you can update it here. You need to have an HTTP path specified as well, which needs to point to the same folder. Um, for information on setting up uh, correctly an HTTP share on your um, Ivanti data volume, please refer to another video in the series. Then simply click save. You'll see that it goes off. It's now scanning the drivers folder. Uh, it updates the list. So every time you add new drivers, you simply need to come into build, click save, and it will update it with all the latest that are in there. Another common issue I get is um, when people are using a new Ivanti management system, um, when you try and build the HII driver repository, uh, you may get an error message saying that you have no preferred server set up. Um, this is if you're going to have a preferred server, you simply set them up as you go. If you do not have one, you can merely add in your core server as a preferred server, just to trick the system, if you will, to think that there is one. To do that, again, provisioning, content replication, preferred servers, and then simply right-click and set up a new server. So the server name will be the name of your core server. You can give it a description if you want to. Um, you do need a read user. Typically, either you may have a service account or administrator, and then you can set a password. And from here, you can test your credentials to make sure that it has read access to your core server. Write credentials, same thing. This needs to have write permissions. Um, so typically, if you have a service account, it's usually a local administrator on your core server, in which case you can use that same account. Under IP address ranges, simply put in the starting and end of your IP address ranges. Click Save, and now you have a preferred server entry. So when you go back into HII and click Build, it finishes without any issues. For some more advanced features with uh, HII, um, like I said, the HTTP share and assigning drivers, we will be discussing that in a future video.